up guys, this is Ali, and today I'm coming at you with another video. Today we're gonna be talking about compartmentalization and what it means and how to compartmentalize. So I spent a lot of time over the last, I wanna say week, uh, actually developing, there's a bunch of mosquitoes out here, sorry. Uh, developing a really good solid outline as to how and why it's important to compartmentalize. So a good visual that I want you guys to look at is <clears throat> each one of these is a compartment that we all share and that we all have in our life, I believe. So there's eight of them. So the first one is family, we have friends, we have career and business, we have education, fitness, lifestyle, finances, aka money, and then last but not least, you have your love life. So all of these are our main compartments that we all share in common. Now, some of us may have more, some of us may have less. It all depends on who you are as an individual. You guys ever feel like one of those compartments that I just mentioned um, is taking over your life? Like maybe you don't have enough time in a day to, you just feel like you don't have time for anything else. Like that one thing is just completely taking up all of your time. You ever experience an issue where you go through a breakup or an argument with your girlfriend or boyfriend <clears throat> and you're at work, but you're not doing any work. All you can think about is that problem that you're going through with your boyfriend or girlfriend and it's like it's distracting you. It's making you sad, it's depressed, it's written all over your face, right? You ever become a fitness freak where you were in the gym all the time, all of a sudden, and you got super fit, super jacked, you had a six pack, you were looking good, but your bank account wasn't looking too hot because you decided that instead of going to work, you're gonna start working out, and all your money you were gonna spend on supplements and food, but you weren't saving any money for yourself or for your rent or for your bills. You ever try to focus at school and passing a class or multiple classes, but maybe because of some drama going on in your family, you weren't able to actually pass that class or get a good grade on that test? You ever focus so much on your job, your career, or your business to the point where you started to become really successful and wealthy, but you started neglecting your friends and family, and then all of a sudden you became alone and nobody else around you wanted to be around you. So these are all reasons and things that we go through as humans every day. And it's like, how can we win in each compartment. And I want you guys to think of each compartment as a room. How do you go, it's, it's like a, yeah, like you have multiple rooms in a house. Now, do you want one room to look like a pigsty while the other one is like the nicest room in the house? Or do you want them all to look nice and clean and organized and you know welcoming, right, vibrant? That would be the ideal case. And that's what compartmentalizing is all about. It's how to actually manage each part of your life without letting one part of it get in the way of another. Now, part of the reason why some people, like, and we, we might, we all know that one person or multiple, or a couple people that seem like they have it all together. They have, you know, the happy family. They have, uh, they always have time, they're always hanging out with their friends, having a good time whenever you see them on social media. They're thriving in their career and business and, you know, they're, they're super fit. They're always at the gym. They're doing yoga in the morning with their, like, wife or husband, whatever. Their lifestyle seems awesome. It's like the lifestyle that we want to have. Um, they're constantly reading and educating themselves. You know, they always have money. Their love life seems amazing. It almost looks too good to be true, right? So the part of the reason why those people are successful in all areas of their life is because they compartmentalize. And how they do that is first, they accept the fact that they have several full-time focuses towards each compartment, but they also understand that they have a limited amount of emotional and mental energy to devote to each one. So for example, let's say you have a 10 bedroom house. Okay, it's not really a good idea to really like clean one room the whole entire day because you can spend a little bit of time in one room get it going cool go to the next room go to the next room go to the next room and get your house looking decent all at the same time as opposed to knocking out one room at a time 
right? So the way to successfully win in all areas of your life without letting one compartment pour into the other is very simple. And it's a five step process. The first one is to compartmentalize it. Now, what does that mean? <clears throat> first, we need to isolate the issue. So if we're having finances, finance problems, paying our bills, we're not making enough money or we're irresponsible with the money, okay, we have, if we're at work, focus on being at work. If we're at school, don't worry about the bills you have to pay. That problem's still gonna be there when you finish class. Focus on the study that you need to do right now to get a good grade. When you're at the gym, when you're with your girlfriend or boyfriend, be fully present and nurture that relationship and then that money problem is still going to be there later. That family drama is still going to be there when you get home. So focus on the present and the now. That's number one. Number two, apply extreme focus on each compartment, right? But only for a short period of time. Only for a short period of time. Don't spend the whole week trying to get your finances together. Just spend a little bit of time on it every day. Number three, make progress in incremental steps. And once you see progress, close that compartment, step number four, close that compartment and move forward to the next compartment. Cool? So for example, you're not gonna say, I'm, all right, I need to get fit. I'm gonna spend the next week, all day, every day in the gym. No, it doesn't make sense. Like, you spend an hour or two max going to the gym every day, or you go an hour in the morning, an hour at night, and that's it. And you see progress every single day, little by little. But you don't cut off your boyfriend or girlfriend, you don't stop going to work, and you don't stop studying and going to school and educating yourself in order to, and spending time with your family just so you can get fit at the gym. Because then you're cutting out your family, you're not making money, you're not learning, you're not like taking care of your love, your love life, right? So just, you have to make sure that you're making incremental steps one by one. Now, the next one, step number five, is say no, and everybody has a problem with this. We need to say no to the things that don't deserve a compartment. And what do I mean by that? We all have that friend that calls us that says, yo, let's hang out, let's chill. But we know that if we do hang out with them, we're not gonna get anything done. We're not gonna go to the gym. We're not gonna go to the, you know, Starbucks and go study and read or uh, create new content or finish writing my book. We're not gonna, he's not gonna help my career business grow. He's not gonna help me with, you know, good advice on how to actually become better with my family. So I'm not gonna really get anything done, but yet we always feel guilty if we say no. So we end up going anyway. And while we're there, we're miserable thinking, yo, I'm wasting my time. I'm now actually wasting money that I don't have. So say no to the things that don't deserve a compartment. The key is, or the ability to compartmentalize, is prioritize and focus enough time and energy on each area in order to make incremental progress towards a conclusion will be the most important skill set that we're gonna develop in order to be successful in our life all around, right? The example I wanna give you guys is, let's say in your backyard, you have like eight different plants, eight different trees, each one's different. You only have a, a, little, a limited amount of water you have a gallon of water to water each plant. You cannot give them all the e same equal amount of water because they're different plants. So one plant in its current state needs more water than another plant does. Another plant needs less water than the other plant does. So depending on where you're at in your life, different compartments need different amounts of time and energy and focus, some more than others. But by doing this day in and day out and being fully present and focused on that compartment when you're in that compartment, it's gonna help you grow that compartment, which will show you progress as opposed to getting emotionally attached to one compartment for the next month and not and ignoring all the other seven. And you get so emotionally attached that the other compartments will start falling apart. Meanwhile, this one, may be thriving, but usually it ends up being bad because too much of anything is never good. 
Yeah, you might get super fit. Yeah, you might spend all this time with your girlfriend or boyfriend. Yeah, you might become a nerd and just constantly study all the time and be obsessed with knowledge, but then everything else is gonna suffer. You won't make time for your family. You won't have time for your friends. You won't have time to go to the gym. You won't have time to get good grades at school. You won't have time to, you know, make money and grow your business. Too much of anything is never good. You need to compartmentalize. And if there's an issue going on in one of the compartments, isolate it from all the other compartments. Be present in that compartment. And whenever you come to this compartment, that's when you deal with the issue. That's when you come up with the solution. That's when you execute. But all meanwhile, focus on each compartment and give it the proper amount of water that it needs. And you will see tremendous amount of growth in your life within the next upcoming weeks. The New Year's is right around the corner and I'm super excited. We got two months until that comes. Let's not wait for the New Year's resolution for January 1st. Let's get that started right now. Let's start working on it right now. We're in this together. Let's rock and roll, baby. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Same place, same time, same channel. Talk to you guys later.